Oof. Always good to start the day thinking about concepts and perspectives and ideas that open the mind to reflect on all that you have been doing. Um, ask yourself some tough questions and then begin to make some changes. They don't have to be big, huge sweeping changes. They're just small, incremental, but methodical changes towards becoming who you feel you are intended to be. Today's quote is from Mahatma Gandhi. And it says, Learn as if you will live forever, live like you will die tomorrow. Learn as if you will live forever, live like you will die tomorrow. Have you disqualified yourself from learning certain things? <laughs> Have you, as, as technology continues to burst onto the scenes as we continue to see the emergence of new platforms and new ways to connect. Um, I, I've been binge watching content on the Apple Vision Pro and especially those like Marquise Brownlee who are not just talking about its technical pieces, but how it will change how, in, how we as human beings engage with one another. Do you look at those you know, emer emerging technologies as, as look at those platforms as, as, as if those are things for someone else. If I could be honest, I know I have, uh, the metaverse. I was like, that's for my kids as they play the Roblox stuff, Bitcoin. I didn't want anything to do with it because of my relationship with ransomware and Bitcoin is the what was used to <laughs> pay for the ransomware. But if I'd gotten into Bitcoin when I paid for ransomware that first time, mm, I would be a millionaire now. <laughs> what about coding? You know, my, my son plays on Scratch and he's making these games and I'm looking at them. I'm like, ah, OK, the, the coding principles are there. I had to do some coding in college. What about artificial in, uh, intelligence? What, what about AI? This is a concept. This is a term that we can't seem to escape. It is in integrating itself. Do you know AI has been there for a very long time? It's just that we're seeing this hyper focus on it. You may recognize Jarvis. Have you disqualified yourself from learning those things? Have you told yourself you'll never need that? I can be honest and raise my hand and say I have. And while we may not explicitly say it, time is a factor for sure. For me, uh, metaverse simply won't be a huge thing for my generation. This, this we know to be true. This, this is all the pundits say this, my generation and the metaverse, it just, it won't be a huge thing for my generation. So I ignore it, even though it's other name is web 3.0 and my wife and I run a web business, a web company. Maybe I don't think my business will run forever. So that's why I'm not staging it for future success. Wow. That's a, that's kind of an organic revelation. <laughs> Learning is defined as gain or acquire knowledge of a, of, or skill in something by study experience or being taught. So here's our question. What are you learning? And, and if we, if we take Mahatma Gandhi's challenge, what would you learn if you knew you would live forever? What would you put in that list? If you, if you were to take a piece of paper right now and say, if I, if I was going to live, if I knew I was going to live forever, <laughs> if I knew I was going to live forever, I would learn the boom, 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 boom. For me, I, I would learn quantum mechanics and computing. 
I, I would learn the ins and outs of space exploration. Uh, those are some of the big ones. But I would also learn probably like how to really cook. I love food. Um, maybe I need to just go ahead and do that one. I would learn how to drive a semi. I, I have been told many times that I have the gift of tongues, meaning I pronounce words in other languages properly, and I would definitely learn multiple languages. What would you learn? If you knew you would live forever, the things that you put on that list are the things you have disqualified yourself from. Mm. There's two parts to Gandhi's quote this morning. Learn as if you will live forever. What are you disqualifying yourself from? The second part says, live like you will die tomorrow. I've shared before, my twin died when I was two years old. So I wasn't even quite two, like maybe 18 months, somewhere in that time frame. It's not really a conversation that the parents are all willing to sit down and chat about all the, all the details that led up to us losing him. His name was Kurt. My name is Kirk. <laughs> they called him Kelly because... We couldn't hear the difference um, in pictures. I can always tell which one is me because my eyes were squinting. They said I had bad, bad eyes as a kid, as a baby. Twin died when I was two. So even before I had a grasp on what life is, I was introduced to its fragility. And it's only as I reflect back and I talk things through in counseling that I am realizing the depths of the impact that has had on me. If you knew for certain that you will die a week from today, what would you do? Oh, man. Who would you reconcile with? Uh, who would you seek forgiveness from? Who, who would you call just to tell them you love them? If you knew one week from today, you'll be gone. What would you stop doing? TV, maybe? <laughs> mm, taking work home? Ignoring calls because you're busy with something else. Putting off that trip. If you knew that one week from today, you'd be gone, what would you do? Would you be adventurous? Would you check off your bucket list? Do you have a bucket list? Or would you spend that time with those closest to you? I want to I want to share there's really no wrong answer except there's no wrong answer except to pretend that this is a hypothetical situation and not the reality we each face every single day. June 2051 is what my doomsday calendar says will be my last on this earth. Mahatma Gandhi in our quote today, maybe it's motivational. Maybe it's for introspection. I don't know. But he shares two instructions that could change your life. Learn as if you will live forever. Live like you will die tomorrow. And that, my friends, 
is your morning motivation.